Hello everybody, welcome to Final Fantasy X once again. And today we're going to be starting our journey on the defeat of the Dark Aeons. These are probably the game's toughest bosses. Uh, the earlier ones are obviously easier than the later ones. So don't expect too much of a challenge with those, especially with their inflated stats here. You don't exactly need your stats as high as I've got mine uh, at the moment. But you definitely want them into the triple figures, especially strength and defense, magic defense, and a, uh, if you can max out agility, that would be somewhat useful. Uh, for the first few Dark Eons, you probably want your luck at around about the 100 mark, just so you can hit them. So we're going to be going for them in order. If you do need to power up your characters and are not quite sure how, make sure you watch both episode 62 of this walkthrough series where I show how you can get vast amounts of AP for sphere levels and also the episode previous to this one where I will show you how to actually get those spheres uh, onto the grid. So hopefully that will be useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share these episodes with your friends. Thank you for those who do support me. The first Dark Aeon we're going to be going for is Dark Vale 4 who is in the said island at the entrance to the village in fact so no surprise there this is where we recruited our own version of um, Vale 4 right near the beginning of the game seems so long ago now doesn't it but we've accomplished so much since then make sure you're healed and saved if your stats are somewhat low then I highly advise you come equipped with at least auto shell auto haste on your armor and with auto life learned on your characters. So here's our first summoner. The Dark Aeons were not originally in Final Fantasy X. They first became present in the international release, or the first western release. So not in the original Japanese version. And it seems like Dark Vale 4 is not going to have a whole lot of time to attack us. So I'm just going to start the head with uh, some quick hits. Maybe we could go for a mug as well. Gotta get some explosions. He doesn't have a counter attack. And he only has about 800k hit points. So the quick hit should do the job. He likes to attack with energy ray and his overdrive ability is somewhat nasty so if you do fill it up then make sure you bring an Aeon out of your own before his attack. There we go. Dark Veil 4 is history. Weapon and armor drops can be somewhat useful off the Dark Aeon, so I'm going to show you a trick a little bit later as well, maybe not in this episode, but in an upcoming episode, on how you can uh, farm one of the Dark Aeons for as much equipment as you need. Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! Right, so that's all we need to do for Dark Veil 4. If you don't get a piece of equipment you want then, or a piece that's somewhat useful, if you don't struggle too much with the fight, you could just reload and try again. Uh, I'm not going to bother, although I did get the somewhat useless Excalibur, because Tidus already has his Celestial Weapon. But I'm going to go and save and head back to the airship. Our next destination is going to be the Sanubia Desert, so I'll see you there. So here in the Sanubia Desert, which is the Bicanal Island destination on your airship, you want to head as far north as possible, right to where we uh, previously had uh, the ability to enter the Elbed home. So now there's a two Elbed there, and you'll see this woman here with the glasses. And she'll ask you to help find her child. We select yes. a little bit of a cut scene here. Hello. 
And look who it is, it's Dark Ifrit. Looks like he's trapped down in this ravine here, doesn't it? Well, maybe we can help him out with that. We just need to uh, head back down, I think, to where he is. Uh, might be over here. Should be somewhere around here. Where is the git? Hmm. Well, right, actually, I think it's up here, you know. Might have been going to the wrong place there. Oh uh, yeah, this uh, woman lied to us, I think, about her kid. It's actually a summoner. It's not very nice, is it? Dark Ifrit is basically a harder version of Dark Veilful. Uh, he has just under double the amount of hit points in the way of 1.4 million compared to 800k that we had previously and he now counters attacks which you'll see every attack gets a lovely counter in fact Yuna is probably going to get hurt by it because she doesn't have a whole max out defense yeah uh, right so I think what we're going to do is overdrive this git Should we get 12 hits and we should do max damage with this he has 173 defense okay so not not far off I think we'll bring uni back to life with my brand new full life spell which I've learned at the sphere grid uh, recently and we'll just entrust over to Waka there, and then hopefully the second attack reels should do the job nicely. You are really going to need attack reels and uh, break damage limit on Waka to have a chance at this fight, otherwise he's going to be resurrecting your party all the time because of his nasty counter attacks. Especially if your defense is somewhat low. Unit took 31k damage. You could easily take max damage if your defense isn't up to snuff. Soul of Mog, another weapon to Master Sphere. That's actually the rare drop of the Dark Aeons. They usually drop Dark Matter, so Master Spheres are very nice. Let's go. So we're job done now with Dark Ifrit and next destination is the Thunder Plains. I'll see you there guys. Okay, so you need to go to the Thunder Plains, come north out of the travel agency and then speak to an NPC next to one of the first lightning towers you come across. Make sure you've saved in the travel agency. And we'll get a usual cutscene. Let's go. And say hello to Dark Ixion. Dark Ixion's attacks are lightning based, not surprisingly. And he counter-attacks once again like Dark Ifrit did. His counter-attacks are super powerful. So I once again recommend going in with full overdrive gauges and 
spamming Waka's attack reels. This is the first, but not the only, Dark Aeon that we're going to have to fight multiple times. I know that doesn't sound fun right now, but I'll explain it as we go on. Just need to try and get this perfectly. Yep, don't want to screw that up. It'd be somewhat useful if you can have Waka with a ribbon uh, equipped, and Dark Ixion has quite a nasty 220 defense. But if we're going to counter attack, then I'm not going to complain too much. Of course, make sure you're prepared to take an Aeon out. Should you need to do so. I uh, don't think I'm going to do much with Yuna, except probably cast Auto Life. Just in case she bites the bullet. And I think we'll attack with Tidus. Does he evade? Yes, he does. Well, if he's going to evade, then I'm not going to complain about that. A high luck stat will always help with evading because uh, the evasion stat itself I don't think works against Dark Aeons. I've got four perfect attack wheels in a row. So like, normally I suck at doing that. So that'll be doing 370 to 400k per go. So that's 800k we've done, which means there should be about 400k left to take off. By the way, this guy's got uh, somewhere in the region of 1.2 million hit points. Perhaps Yuna will actually evade because her look's not too bad either. Yeah. Take some opportunity to steal some stamina tablets. There we go. Like I said, we will be engaging in battle again, but don't worry about the fact that you probably won't have overdrives built up because he can't counter attack in his next battle. Another Excalibur. It's not good to us. Now you can actually save if you want to, in between battles. Strike the final blow upon the summoner that appears with the thunder's roar. How strange. Right, I probably will just go and use the save point. Ah, no, I won't. He's there, so we'll go and grab him. But if you want to, you can. I'll uh, take that risk not to, though. And we'll just quick hit him to death now, I think. He will inflict status ailments. That's the only thing which is somewhat annoying. So we might have to be prepared to uh, heal against those, depending on what he does against who. Arrows far. That was pretty... Pretty darn rubbish attack. I don't think we're getting killed before. Oh, no, we will. Look. Job done. And that is the final battle against Dark Ixion. So now we can collect a second reward from him. Thunderball. But that's it, he's dead now. And we can go ahead with our fourth Dark Aeon battle, and the last of what I call the easy Dark Aeons. Right, so our battle against Dark Shiva can be found uh, just prior to the Macalania Temple. So you want to head to Lake Macalania and then start heading north out of the travel agency. 
if we head down here then hopefully we should come across the summoner. At least that's the plan. Dark Shiva can be a bit of a nuisance because her attacks have death associated with them. But this is pretty isn't it? Look at that, we've got some NPCs waiting for us. I'm not totally sure the story behind the Dark Aeons. Like I said, I know they were added in only to the international version of the game. But basically there just seems to be a load of summoners that don't like Yuna. And have super powerful Aeons to take care of it. Fool! You come back to Makalonia Temple a traitor! Traitor! Find your salvation on the far plane! Now the one thing you'll probably notice against Dark Shiva is that she's very fast so I highly advise that you max out your agility on your party and have auto haste equipped. Um, other than that just use the same sort of tactic really. Attack reels. We only fight her once. Unlike Dark Ixion who we had to fight twice. Dark Shiva has 1.1 million hit points. Doesn't look like she has a counter attack though, so hopefully we'll be able to take care of her quite quickly. There we go. Now I mentioned that she was the final of the easy Aeons. From the next one, the fifth battle, the difficulty does ramp up quite substantially. So I'll probably do one. Uh, per video, now per episode, so we can really go through the tactics and whatnot. I don't keep wanting to get these stupid weapon drops. What I actually want is armor drops. Right, okay, now at this point, similar to how it happened before, we're going to get Guardo spawning, and they're going to be chasing us, so we're going to have to escape. But it is literally the same crap that happened last time we came out of the temple. The monsters aren't any harder. And if you can defeat Dark Shiva, I doubt you're going to have much trouble with these. Well, I'll just show you the run out anyway. You can also go back into the temple if you want. There's a couple of extra items to loot. But you'll need to rebuild the bridge again as part of the trials, which we did previously. So, if you get stuck doing that, then go back to one of my previous episodes where we did the Macalania Cloister Trials. Hopefully that will help you out. What I have been doing, by the way, a little tip for you, is having Waka and Tidus' overdrives in victor mode. That way after each battle, as long as Waka's only used overdrive twice, including Tidus' entrust ability, then we only need to go into one more battle and they'll be full again before the next Archaeon. I would do the same with Yuna, but she doesn't have the victor mode, which is why... Uh, I've just kept her in healer mode. It's a little bit of an annoying slog this, but it's what needs to be done sadly. It's nice to be able to get some of these Dark Aeons defeated though, it seems like a long time coming doesn't it? It's a massive game this is really. The story is about average size I would say, you know, you could probably complete Final Fantasy X within about 30 hours if you go solely for the story, but the optional content, there's just a lot of it, a lot of optional bosses, the monster arena is obviously a massive part of the game, and the uh, Dark Aeons, along with getting the optional Aeons and all sorts of stuff. Other areas as well, such as Amiga Ruins, there's a good bit of optional stuff to do in Final Fantasy X. And that's what I love in RPGs, JRPGs. But anyway folks, I think we'll finish this episode here today. We've came through for the first four Dark Aeons, and we've got a few more to go. Things will get a little bit more challenging from here, so I hope you'll come back and join me as we attempt to take that on. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, once again. I'll see you next time, guys, for more Final Fantasy X.